When you observe a gorilla and you spend time with them and you see how sophisticated and articulate are their social structure and their interactions between individuals. This is for me just incredible, it's fantastic. The risk of extinction is there, can happen anytime. In total there are less than 900 mountain gorillas in the world living in two separate populations. What I would like to see is people and gorillas thriving together in sustainable forests. The Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund is a very long history. He was actually founded by Diane Fossey. She founded the Karisoke Research Center in 1967 up in the mountain and uh, is from there she started the long-term uh, research on gorillas uh, done by herself and the students. What she brought to bear on conservation was the sense that you can't do it for a little while. You have to be there for a sustained length of time. You must be there all day every day. It needs to be continuous. Just like sustaining effort in the forest with conservation, one of the unique things about Oracle is how long they've been supporting us and the fact that it is sustained. Thanks to Oracle, we've been able to send our trackers in the forest 365 days a year. The gorillas are here very close. Now they are feeding. We will start approaching them slowly, slowly, and uh, observe them by distance. After founding the gorillas, they have to monitor, to observe every individual and see if it's normal or wrong. If the situation is okay, it's normal in the group, we have someone to collect data there. So every day in the forest, uh, there are fossil fund staff uh, that record uh, data for uh, demographic information. And then we have technicians that uh, record the behavioral data. We used to collect data in a very traditional way, as any biologists are doing in the field, basically just using a pencil and a notebook. We estimate that we enter about two million cells of data a year. So you can imagine the amount of time it takes to enter that data and then to clean it so that it's usable and then to manipulate it. Right now we're transitioning to a system where we collect data electronically in the field using tablets. And these tablets get connected to a database. The database is hosted on Oracle Cloud. We're an international organization, and so having the data in the cloud is great for us because it means that people can be working in Rwanda, they can go in and enter that data that day, and then I can go and look at the data and see what they've seen and start using it. Mistakes that before were done just by typos. Now with this technology, the codes are already pre-written. You have just to press it, you have not to write it. So this has uh, improved everything. They are so like us. They live in families. They love, nurture and protect their children. They are so like us. And that's where I really, I think, you know, we, if we can't keep them on our planet, then what is next? So that's, that's really why I think we have to keep gorillas in our world. When we do primatology and when we study great apes, we don't study animals that we don't know anything about. We study individuals, they have names, we know who they are, we track them throughout their life. And it's very important for us to be able to also track their behavior, keep track of who they get along with, who they don't get along with. And uh, to do that, we need to collect very, very accurately uh, social behavior data and, uh, and visualize data. Oracle is developing with us a data access interface, which is basically a website that 
we and any scientist in the world will be able to access and to visualize and analyze our Gorilla data. But more importantly, we want to be able to make these tools that we are developing available for the broad scientific community. And uh, so any tool we develop will be made available freely, obviously, to uh, any scientist in the world who is interested in implementing a similar data management system and data collection system. Oracle is uh, our number one sponsor and uh, supporter, so we benefit enormously from the assistance of not only for giving us funding, but also to provide us all this technology that help uh, our analysis and our research for gorillas, because uh, making research on gorillas automatically reflects on their protection. So only uh, knowing them, we can then protect them. People asked me, why are you taking this job? And I said, I'm taking this job for my grandchildren because they cannot imagine a world without wonderful gorillas in it. <laughs> <laughs>